Ahmaduhu wa nasalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. So now we're moving on to lesson number 20. Are we discussing your favorite jumlatun? Fa'liya. What issue do you have with jumlatun ismiya? You don't like jumlatun ismiya? No? So we're discussing jumlatun fa'liya. So let's recap quickly before we go on. Okay? We have jumla. How many types of jumla do we have? Two jumlatun ismiya and again. Jumlatun ismiya and jumlatun fa'liya. Okay? Jumlatun ismiya. How many parts does it have? Two. What are the two parts? Mubtada'un and the khabarun. Mubtada'un is what? Marfu. The khabarun is what? Marfu. What can you add before a jumlatun ismiya? A fa'lu naqis. What are the two fa'lu naqis? Kana and laysa. Kana means? Was. And laysa means? Not. Okay, what does the mubtada become? Ismu kana or ismu? Laysa. What's the Arab of it? Marfu'. And then what do we have? What's the, what's the khabar called? Khabaru kana or khabaru? Laysa. What's the Arab of it? Mansub. What can you add to Jumla ismi as well? Harfun mushabbahun bil fail, which is? Inna. And what, what do you call the mubtada? Ismu inna. What's the Arab of ismu inna? Mansu. What's the Arab of Khabaru Inna? Is that Majroor? Are you sure? Good. Jumlatun Fa'liya? Jumla Fa'liya is Marfu'. What's the parts of Jumla Fa'liya? What are the parts of Jumla Fa'liya? Fa'ilun. I thought you like Jumla Fa'liya. Fa'ilun and Fa'ilun. What's the Arab of Fa'ilun? Marfu'. If the fa'il is mudhakkar, what does the fa'il become? What fatin does it come on? Mudhakkar, which is what? Fa'ala, and the mudhari of fa'ala is? Yaf'alu. So yasamiya, yasma'u, daraba, yadribu, arafa, ya'rifu, any of those forms. If the fa'il, fa'il is mu'annath, what happens? You have the mu'annath form, which is? What pattern of the mu'annath form come on? Fa'alat or? Taf'alu. That's not as quick as I want it to be. Let's go again. Jumlatun fa'liya. How many parts of Jumlatun fa'liya? Two, which are? Fa'ilun and fa'ilun. What's the arab of the fa'ilun? Marfu. If the fa'ilun is muzakkar, what form does the fa'il come on? Fa'ala or yaf'alu. If the fa'il is mu'annaf, what pattern does it come on? Fa'alat or taf'alu. Yes? Any questions? Okay. Right. Now we can discuss something called the object. What is the what's an object? The, the thing upon which the action is carried out upon. The boy ate. Correct? Who is the subject? Why is the boy the subject? He's doing the eating. He is eating the act. And what is the verb? The verb. The verb. Eight. Why is eight the verb? Because it is the action, doing thing. What is the object? The poor apple, because the apple is being eaten. Give me another example of, a, of an object. No punching, please. No punching. Let's use it. Zaid eight, Ahmad. That's even worse. Gee, that's cannibalism, huh? No. Swam. Let's use this. Kick, kick a ball. The boy kicked the ball. So what's the ball? Object. The ball is the object. Why is the ball the object? Because he is kicking the ball. Let's do something that you guys don't do. I wrote my homework. So what's my homework? The object. Why? Because it's the object of wrote. So let's say. See, that's why it never came to your mind, isn't it? Because you, never, you don't do your homework, do you? So I wrote my Homework. <coughs> Who's the subject in here? I. I. And then what's the verb? Wrote. And what is the object? My homework. Yes, everybody understand this? Yes? <coughs> okay. 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 All right. Now. 
What is the arab of the maf? Okay. What do we call the object in Arabic? Maf'oolun bihi. One minute. Right? This is called the maf'oolun bihi. What is it called? Maf'oolun bihi. So now what do we have? Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. Again. Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. Three times the odd number sunnah, isn't it? So fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. But five is also a sunnah for odd number. You go five, seven, nine times. Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. After number, get tasbih. Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. Yeah? You can do that? Don't do that. Okay? So maf'oolun bihi. What's the a'rab of the maf'oolun bihi? What's the a'rab of the fa'il? Marfu'. And the a'rab of the maf'oolun bihi is? Mansub. What's the a'rab of maf'oolun bihi? Mansub. Now let's look at example here. Shariba. What does shariba mean? You've done it in sarf already. To drink. Is this a maadhi or is this a mudari? The maadhi. So it means drunk. So, so what do you do? Turkey. Remember turkey? Do it this way. It's very important. What do you have to do? Tell me what you have to do. You get a blue pen. You overline the word. What is shariba in the tarkib? Fa'lun. You overline a rajul. What is, what is the fa'il? What state is it in? Marfu. And al ma'a. What's al ma'a? Maf'oolun bihi. Maf'oolun bihi. And this is going to be marfu' because it's fa'il. And it's going to be mansub. Yes? So it's fa'il and that is maf'oolun bihi. Okay? Yes? What's the order, what's the order of the sentence in Arabic? Fa'il, fa'il, maf'oolun. Will you forget that? Fa'il, fa'il and maf'oolun. It's a very simple order. Yes? The fa'il, fa'il, and maf'ul is what? But what is it? A very, a very simple order. Is it complicated or is it simple? Is it simple or very simple? So it's a very simple order. The fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'ulun. So what you can do here, if you, get, if you forget the very simple order, a very simple <coughs> order, verb, subject, and object. So if you forget fa'lun, fa'ilun, and maf'ulun, we just remember it's a very simple order. So verb, subject, and object. What is it? Verb, subject, object. Very simple order of fa'lun, fa'ilun, and maf'ulun. Yes? Follow me? Everybody with me? Okay. Right. So we have here, Shariba rajulul ma'a. I'm going to translate it. I'm not good at English. I'm going to say, drunk man water. Is that okay? Is that how you translate it? Drunk man the water? You think, yeah. No? You're not good at English as well? How do you translate it? The man drunk the water. So what do you have to do? When we translate, you translate the maf'oolun bihi after the fa'il. You're laughing, but sometimes what people do, they start, they start translating literally and they start translating word by word. What do you have to do? Remember, in English, you, what you always have first, whether it's jumlatun ismiya or jumlatun fa'liya, what do you have first? In English, subject. So whenever you translate, jumlatun ismiya, mubtada will come first. Jumlatun fa'liya will come first. In translation, the subject, the fa'il. Okay? So we say here, we translate this first, right? The man. What comes after the subject in English? The verb. So we translate what now? Drunk. And then what do we translate after that? The object. How do you translate this? The man drunk the water. The man drank the water. Correct? Yes? Correct? You following me? 
So the fa'il comes first, then the fa'il, then the maf'ulun bihi. Okay? Yes, everybody with me? Any questions? No questions? Because you know everything, I don't know anything. That's why I have no questions. Because you know everything, I don't know anything. You know everything? Inshallah. Hope so when the exam comes. Okay? I put one question just for you. The extra question. Yeah? The hard, very hard question for the person who knows everything. Okay? Right. Okay? Let's try translating. Let's, do, let's analyze one sentence. Okay? How do you read the sentence? خَلَقَ اللَّهُ الْجَنَّةَ First of all, let's do Tarkeeb. How do you do Tarkeeb? <coughs> Step by step. What do I do? Get a blue pen and overline. Over, not underline. Overline. Oh, no, it's important because underline is something else. Okay? Because what happens is it gets complicated. I'm being particular about this because when you come later on, you'll get confusion. So what do you do? You overline. What, how do I label this word? I say fa'lun. What do I do next? I overline the word Allah. What do I label this as? Fa'ilun. What do I do next? Overline al-jannah. What do I label it as? Maf'ulun bihi. Then what do I do after that? Have a cup of tea. After the cup of tea, what do I do? Translate it because it's quite hard. Get some coffee to help me translate it. Right? No? You don't drink tea? No? So you don't have to have tea. You can carry, you carry on then. So you don't drink tea. You're going to have a tea break. You carry on. G. How do I translate? Don't, don't tell me the translation. Tell me the order, the procedure. Like what do I do first? What do I translate first? Lafzul Jalala. Why do I translate Lafzul Jalala first? The word Khalaka comes first. Why are you translating Allah first? It's different in Arabic. What comes first in English? The subject. So I write Allah first. Then what do I write after that? What does khalaka mean? To create. So created. Correct? So what do I write now? Created. And then I write the maf'ulun bihi, which is what? Allah created heaven, Allah created jannah, whatever. Okay? Everybody got that? Let's try another one. Tashrabu tiflatu ma'an. What is it? Tashrabu tiflatu ma'an. Why is it tashrabu? Why is it not yashrabu? Because the fa'il is what? Feminine. It's what is it? What's feminine mean? I don't know. I'm Arabi, huh? Mu'annath. La arif feminine. What is it? Mu'annath. So tifla is what? Mu'annath. So that's why yashrabu becomes what? Tashrabu. Yes? Do you follow me? Now, what's the fail in the sentence? Tashrabu. What's a tiflatu? The fa'ilun. And what's ma'an? Maf'ulun bihi. And the translation? The boy, tiflatu. The child, the baby, drank water. Okay? Qara'at fatimatu kitabaini. Okay, what state is a tiflatu in? It's marfu state. What state is ma'an in? Mansub. Next one. Qara'at. Why is it qara'at? And not qara'a. Because who's the fa'il? Fatima. Is Fatima mudhakar or mu'annath? Mu'annath. So you have to make qara'a into? Qara'at. Mu'annath. Correct. So qara'at is the? Fa'ilun. Fatima to is the? Fa'ilun. And kitabain is the? Maf'ulun bihi, very good. What state is Fatima in? Marfu. What state is Kitabaini in? Mansub or Majroor? Is that correct? Can I say Mansub or Majroor? Why is it Mansub? It's Maf'ul bihi. So when, when we said in the beginning in the Arab table, it comes Mansub or Majroor with Kitabaini, that is because we never had a sentence, we didn't know. Now we know it's what? Mansub. We can't say it's Mansub or Majur. What do you have to say? It's Mansub. Why is it Mansub? Because it is the Maf'ulun Bihi. So Fa'lun Fa'ilun Maf'ulun Bihi. And how is it Mansub? Because Kitaban, Kitabain is what? Mufrad, Muthanna, Jama. It's Muthanna. When Muthanna is Marfu' it's Kitab. Marfu' Kitabani and Mansub is? 
And because this is maf'oolun bihi, it has to be mansoor, so it becomes kitabaini. So, qara'at Fatima tu kitabaini. Fatima read two books. Very good. Arafat Fatima tul muslimina. Arafat Fatima tul muslimina. Arafa means to recognize. So, who's a fa- what's a fa'ilun? Arafat. What's a fa'ilun? Fatima tu. What's a maf'oolun bihi? Muslimina. Fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'oolun bihi. And how do we translate? Fatima, recognize the Muslims. And what state is Muslimina in? Mansub. Why is it Mansub? Maf'oolun bihi. What state is Fatima to in? Marfu. Why is it Marfu? Fa'ilun. Yashrabu al Muslimuna zamzama. What's a fa'ilun? Yashrabu. What's a fa'ilun? Muslimuna. What state is zamzama in? Mansub. How do I translate that? The Muslims drank or drink? Drink. Zamzam. Muslims drink zamzam. Yaghfiru Allahu al Khati'atun? Very good. Mistake. Error. So, ghafara yaghfiru? To forgive. So what's a fa'ilun? Yaghfiru. The fa'ilun? Allah is a fa'ilun. Al khati'at? Maf'ulun? Bihi. How do you translate? Allah forgives mistakes, errors, sins. Different ways of translating it. And what state is khati'at in? Mansub. How is it mansub? It has a kasra on it. It's maf'oolun bihi, but how do I know it's maf- mansub state? Okay. What kind of word is it? Isam. What kind of isam? Jama' mu'annas. Salim. When jama' mu'annas salim is what? Mansub. What does it have? Khati'atun marfu. Khati'atin is mansuban. Majroor. That's why it's... So you see, so even though this has a fatha, that has a fatha, this has a kasra, this has a kasra, they all what? Mansub state because they are what? Different words express the Arab differently. Because the far the the question is why is it this this is Muslimuna? That's plural, isn't it? Yes? So why is Yashribu singular? That's how it works in Arabic. The verb, when you have a fa'lun and a fa'ilun, the fa'lun is always, 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 always singular. When you have a fa'lun and a fa'ilun, the fa'lun is what? Always, 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 always singular. You never have yashrabani ar-rajulani or yashrabuna ar-rijalu. Why? That's Arab. Khalas. You just listen to what they say. That's the rule. Yes, it changes from shariba to sharibat. Yashrabu to tashrabu. When you have the fa'il after it, when you have a word after it, then it always has to be what? You always have the yashrabu or tashrabu. Yes? Everybody following me? One more recap. Yes? Okay, let's go. You say it by I'm not going to say it. You start yourself. Jumla. Jumla ismiya. Jumla fa'liya. Then. Jumla ismiya is. Mubtada'un. Khabarun. What can be added to it? Fa'lun naqis, which is. Kana'an. Correct. Then. Mubtada becomes ismu kana. Correct. Khabaru kana, then Harafun mushabbahun bil fa'il, which is Inna, correct Ismu inna Khabaru inna So Mubtada is what state, Martada? Marfu' 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 Mansub Then Mansub Marfu'ah. Then go on to the next side. 
No, jumlatun, fa'liya, fa'ilun, fa'ilun, maf'ulun bihi. Yeah. Muzakkarun, then what do you have? Fa'ala or yaf'alu. If you have mu'annas, you have? Taf'alu or fa'alat. You like doing things opposite. Taf'alu, fa'alat. Why do you say fa'alat, taf'alu? You like doing things opposite. And then what do we have after fa'ilun and fa'ilun? Maf'ulun bihi. What's the a'rab of fa'ilun? Marfu'ah. And a'rab of maf'ulun bihi? Mansub. Good? Any questions? Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.